Thanks for tuning in to this episode of the Blabber Box. We're glad to have you. We got some crazy stuff going on for you. Check this out. You know how people be getting road rage and everything out there on the highways and byways of the U.S. of A. Well, Ronnie Jacobs shot himself in the leg after allegedly pointing his gun in a road rage incident. Tell me, tell me, folks, how in the world do you do that? I'm mad at you. I pull a gun and shoot my own damn self. That's like the football player who shot himself uh, in the club. Uh, while wearing sweatpants. First of all, you don't pack a pistol with sweatpants on. That's uh, uh, pistol packing 101 in the book of pistol packing. So Ronnie Jacobs, he's in Norfolk, Virginia. He faces weapon charges after accidentally shooting himself in the leg. (laughs) Shooting himself in the leg. Uh, during a road rage incident on Tuesday. Now, neighbors said Ronnie Jacobs, 46 years old, was speeding in a residential neighborhood where children were playing. This is some of the stuff that Justin Bieber's been doing up there in his gated community. You remember that? And now, according to Fox News, a couple of men flagged Jacobs down and told him to ease up on the gas player. Jacobs apparently didn't like that. So he wheeled his car around, got out, and threatened him with a 45 caliber gun only a few feet from where kids were playing. So first of all, you're speeding in the area where kids are playing. And and second of all, uh, people tell you to chill out on that because kids are there. You, third of all, you get out with a big ass 40. You know how big a 45 is? All right, look at my thumb. This is my thumb. That's how big a 45 bullet is. So I'm going to hold it up next to my eye so you can get or, or next to my. Now, my nose is pretty big. My nose is bigger <laughs> than a 45 bullet. Uh, but yeah, you get the idea how big a 45 bullet is? That's how big a 45 caliber bullet is. Now, it, it, now most guns carry nine to 14 of them in a Glock or, or whatever. Uh, so uh, anyway, <clears throat> he pulled out a 45. Needless to say. Now, uh, uh, <laughs> now, 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 he pulled his gun. Wait, let, let, me, let me read what the people said here. Now, uh, 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 my friends were standing right there in the yard, and the guy came flying by, and they were like, slow down, these kids. And the guy did a U turn and pulled over. And this is what Alice, Ashley Summerson told uh, the, the news. Now, Ashley, maybe she said it in a, in a different voice. Maybe she smoked a lot, and that's how she actually sounded. Anyway, <laughs> I was like, uh, 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 uh. did a U-turn and pulled over. He pulled his gun out trying to shoot one of the men, but he shot himself. <laughs> ridiculous. That is ridiculous right there. Now, uh, Jacob struggled with another man, and the gun fired, hitting him in the leg. This is what said. Now, Jacob was treated at an area hospital for a leg wound. Uh, his wounds were not life-threatening, but they definitely were ego-smashing. I can tell you that right now. He is charged with discharging and brandishing a firearm. I'm just happy none of the kids got hurt. I'd rather get shot than one of these kids. This is what neighbor Jack Watson, uh, who witnessed the event, told the news station. Now, road rage is pretty much always a bad idea. And worse so, when guns are involved now in March, a case of road rage escalated into gunplay after a North Carolina man punched the driver of a truck he was accused of trying to run off the road. Deputies told the news that suspect Bradley Turner pulled a gun and shot the truck in nearly in a nearby house after being beaten to the ground by the driver and one of his passengers. So the driver and his passenger beat the guy down, and he got out and shot and hit the truck and a nearby house. Road rage, yeah. That concludes this episode of The Blabber Box. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure and check us out over at steviemack.com. Find out where I'm performing at at a place near you. And if it ain't near you, request it to be near you. And be sure to check out Stevie Mac Radio. We're on Monday through Thursday at 6 p.m. That there is the call time, my friend. Be there or be square. Wait in the comments below and be sure to subscribe. Blabber Box. Blabber. Blabber.